Hi everyone, it's Stacy from PeonyLaneDesigns.com. Have you subscribed to the channel yet? If not, click the little blue button. Don't forget to click the subscribe button, comment down below, like this video, and click the bell icon to be notified. You can probably tell the lighting rigs are back. And as I stated last time, I had to take those out of here. Never again. Oh, never again. So I broke down last night, went to Menards. They're $10 at Menards. They're cheaper on Amazon. But um, I realized that I had rebates. I had like $28 in rebates. So I bought a kit because I'm impatient and I don't want to wait. Yes, I am impatient. <laughs> um, I also needed to get clear epoxy. So I did. I was out of the clear epoxy. Um, I have like steel stick and wood filler and all the other epoxies except this one that I needed. So we got, we got some clear epoxy. So we are going to wire a lamp today. Ah, yeah, I can't even tell you. I think, I think many, many people have asked me to do this. Um, we've done this before. So I showed you how to wire a chandelier. Um, I could swear we did a lamp, but I want to say Melon asked me not too long ago how to do a lamp. So we're going to do a lamp today, guys. So we will have to wire everything before gluing down the top. Um, I can't fit my hand up through there. So you can see the, the lamp that we're working with. We don't need the harp right now. Um, the lamp that we're working with narrows right there. So you can see it goes all the way up through the base. However, I can't fit my hand in there. You couldn't either. There's no tool that's going to go from there to there. So everything will have to be wired onto this bracket before being glued down. So that means we'll have to run the cord up through the center and then actually get it wired to this before we glue everything down. Exciting stuff, let me tell you. <laughs> oh, and look, Philip said, I'm excited. We have to pull the sheathing off. So this metal piece here, um, I get a lot of lamps that people think are damaged beyond repair because this has come off. Don't worry about it. It's got to come off to wire it. I know it looks nice in the package when it's all together, but they could make this easier. Um, I had to use a flathead screwdriver, pull it out of there. To, I just wedged it over one side. So you want this cardboard in there. Keep it lined up with this. This is where your little switch goes. Well, that's it. That's all we got there. Works great. All right. I don't know that there's a good way to show you guys this. I'm going to pull the bottom off the harp. Because we need this part. Ta-da! We're going to string it up through the lamp. Okay. Let's hope that's the hardest thing we run into today. <sighs> okay, so we don't have an existing nipple. This does screw into this. So we're going to screw that in there. And then we're going to use their little spacer to lock that down. So we're not using this one. Okay. And then it needed to be, you know what? No, we are going to use that because that needs to be like that. And then that needs to be like that. And then this needs to be on here. Oh, see, that's too high. We don't want to see the threaded rod.
Okay, there we go. All right, I need a Phillips head, which I did not take out because I thought I was gonna need flat heads. Okay, Phillips is the one with the X on it and a flat head is a flat head. So I'm going to see there's a little screw right there that tightens it down to the threaded rod that we just put in there. Keeps it from moving around. So like it's not gonna unscrew itself if you twist the, if you twist it. So I just tighten that down. Now we need to run the cord up through here. We're not gonna glue it down yet. <laughs> they never want to go in straight, do they? Okay, go straight, go straight, go straight. Oh. Oh. All right, and then we need to make a knot in our cord. So they call this an underwriter's laboratory, a UL knot. Um, I believe it's just to keep the cord from sliding back down. Like you can't pull the cord out easily. Do I need to double knot this? Hang on. Hang on. It has to be. It's like this, right? So like. Like that. Like that. And then this go up here and there. And there. I don't know. I don't know if that's correct. That's not correct. That one's not correct. You have to make loops like that, right? Make a knot in there anyway. Keep it from being pulled out. Oh, there we go. There we go. Okay, so that knot goes down in there and you have enough, leave enough room on either side to actually wire your lamp. So you have two screws, um, one right, one right there and one right there. These do not have any particular ground. One sec, one sec, one second. Y'all, I had to consult with the OG. So I just had a phone call with the OG because there is a neutral. So there's a neutral on the lamp and it's silver. The silver is the neutral. The copper is the hot. And I'm like, how do I tell? Like, if you look at these cords, they look identical to me. And it says on the package, look for this ribbing and that will be your neutral. Y'all. <laughs> he said to me, Is, isn't it a different color? I'm like, no. So this is Patriot Lighting's packaging. I may reach out to Patriot and suggest that they just put a piece of white tape and black tape and then tell us the neutral is. But I did, I did see the ribbing and you know how I can tell where the ribbing is. So look, look at the knot, see if you can see it. This side of the knot has ribbing and then this one is smooth. It's not going to focus, is it? It is so subtle, but you can see ribbing on this one, which is the one that comes up on this side. So when I look at it, like I had to spin it several times and I, I'm, I'm talking to the OG and I'm like, normally it's another color. It's a different color. Like they'll put a white on the shielding. So like on the inside, when you pull it apart, like where the neutral will be, will be like a little tiny bit of white. Or I guess I've not used the Patriot one before. So it kept saying, look for the ribbing. And I'm like, they look identical to me. And because you pull them apart, you can see this one that is the smooth one has this little piece in there that's raised that looks a lot like the ribbing. So if you're getting a Patriot lighting kit, be prepared 
to inspect your wires to look for this ribbing, which I don't know if I can get you a better shot of that because it's this is where I saw it was on this part here. Let me see. Nope, I, and it's not going to show up on the camera. It's that freaking subtle. Y'all, you don't want it to be subtle. So I may have to have a little conversation with Patriot Lighting. <laughs> like they care what I think, right? But I may just have to go, mm, guys, I mean, a little help here. This is too subtle. This is too subtle. And I don't like it. And I, and I kept saying to him, you know, the last lamp that I did, there was like a white. And he said, well, then it must not matter. I said, but then why would they say that there's a neutral in there to look for the neutral? And he's like, well, then it matters. And I'm like, right? Because both of us are going, wait, what? <laughs> so this is my neutral. It has the ribbing on it. I had to hunt it. And talk to the OG because I'm like, oh, what's going on? I mean, you don't want to get that one wrong. Um, and then all you do is I'm going to back this screw out. So the silver one is my neutral. And this one is the ribbing one. You're going to lay this down in there. And you're going to and you're going to curve it away from the back. So I'm going to make a little hook. So you just make a hook like a shepherd's hook around the screw and I put it to the front away from this one and then you tighten that screw down so you can see it's just a little shepherd's hook around that screw and you tighten the screw down you're going to do the same thing on the hot so this is the hot and I'm going to back that screw out a little bit. And we're going to take this and you're going to bend it over in a shepherd's hook away from this screw in the back. Okay, so it's going to the front. And then we're going to tighten it down so then that's that's on there like that. <laughs> and then I said to the OG, okay, but if this is wrong and I electrocute myself and I die, you sue Patriot Lighting. Everyone sue Patriot Lighting for me. Because how dare they make it that subtle, right? I'm going to put the shielding over this. And I'm not going to, I'm going to test it before I glue it down, by the way, you guys. Clip this back, push this back together. I know everybody's going to be in the comment section telling me how um, you're too scared to do it. I get it. It's just not. I'm scared to do it. If you think I'm not nervous about playing with electrical, you're wrong. And if you're. If you're not nervous, you shouldn't be doing it because then you're going to make mistakes because you're not going to be safe. Let me get a light bulb. We're going to test this out. All right. I found a little chandelier bulb. I have no idea if it's on or not right now. So I'm going to plug this in to an extension cord here and we'll see if it's working. Okay. I did it. <laughs> the OG said, Call me back if you don't die. <laughs> so I'll have to call him. I'll have to call him back. <laughs> that jackass. <laughs> okay, but now we need to glue it in place. So we know it's working. That's great. We, we've done everything we need to do here. It's not plugged in anymore. So <laughs> no worries. I'm going to use my two-part epoxy. And we're going to mix that up and we're going to use an epoxy to hold this in place now. So initially this would have screwed on, but you can see the glass is broken. So the threading for the glass is broken. And that's why whoever had it before used, I don't know what that was that we cleaned out of there yesterday. Um, we're going to use an epoxy. 
So this epoxy will hold it just fine. It's gonna hold it better than whatever that was. So let's put it that way. But I need to mix it on a palette So I just have an old shingle. So this is just a, a shake that we did projects with it. As you can see, I've mixed other resins on it before. I'm just gonna squeeze it out on here and use a um, popsicle stick. Am I out of popsicle sticks? You know, yesterday I was at Dollar Tree and I thought, do I need popsicle sticks? And I thought, no, you're good. But now I'm looking over where I keep my popsicle sticks and going, I don't see one, but let me go look and see Make sure maybe one fell out. Nope, but I got a plastic knife. So I'm just going to use this to mix and then we're going to glue this in place. Ooh. So this is the two-part epoxy. It just comes in a plunger. You squeeze it evenly onto the board and then you should have the precise amount that you need from both. But my hands are very weak, so I'm gonna put it down here and do this. Only one side came out, cause they lie. Oh, come on, Gorilla Glue. Oh, wait, there's something in the middle. What's this? Mm, there we go. What's this? <laughs> oh, it's the mix. It's get, they got a mixer. Oh, it's a mixer. I didn't know that was in there. <laughs> okay, so now it's out of the center. And now it should be evenly. What in the world? The one side won't come out. Oh, there we go. There was a clog. Um, yuck. It smells like a perm, ladies and gentlemen. It smells like a 1980s hair salon in here now. I'm going to mix those together. does get a little cloudy and now we're going to use that to glue this in place just dropped a bunch of stuff on the ground Alrighty then And while I've got this resin out, I'm going to fix my friend Naomi's um, lampshade. I've been meaning to fix it for a while. I'm so sorry, Naomi. I'm kind of a terrible friend. All right, we need more. I'm going to go around the lip of that, too. The only problem with these plungers is once this stuff starts coming out, it does not want to stop coming out, which is not fun.
I just want to get that lip around there, make sure that that's... Second, clean off the excess. Okay. We've effectively rescued a 1930s lamp from going into a landfill. So, yay. That's going to take five minutes to set up. We're going to let it sit for longer than that because of the weather, the cold here. We had another cold snap last night and I want to make sure it sets up before a mess with it at all. And then I'll see if I can find a lampshade for it. We'll see how pretty it looks. Okay. It's been drying all day and it's still a little sticky, but it's, it's on there. It's not going anywhere now. We fixed it. Um, I do not have the appropriate lampshade. We're going to put the new harp on there. I got my lamp kits from Amazon and at least on those lamp kits, they don't give you directions on how to wire the lamp, but the one that is the hot wire has writing on it and the, the neutral has nothing on it. So you can tell the difference. I am really disappointed in this particular lamp kit because the texture wasn't very pronounced as you saw. Well, you probably couldn't see it. It just wasn't very, very good. Ta-da! So this is an LED bulb, so it doesn't heat up. But I need to get, like, some fabulous shade. Like, big, tall column shade with some swag. You know, something out of a Cary Grant movie. Um, to make this just the most perfect, wonderful vintage lamp. But I think I'm going to keep it. <laughs> Don't tell my husband. I don't have anywhere for it. But I'm in love with it. I'm in love with the color. I'm in love with the design. I am just... Keep it. That and I have an abundance of lamps in my shop right now. So I have two in the shop. I have two matching ones in the garage waiting to go in the shop. And another two matching to go in the shop. There's just an abundance of lamps that aren't being sold. So I might as well keep this one. That's not going to hurt anything. I love it. I absolutely love this color. I think I'm going to have to see if I can match this blue gray color and maybe paint something in it. It looks very gray on camera right now, but in person it has a distinct blue hue to it. It's way more blue than gray, but I just love it. <laughs> I'm just happy that it was rescued because when I got it, it was, it was all broken apart and it had waited too long. I mean, we were at what, two years? Yeah, I think I got it the summer before last. So, I mean, it had been waiting. It had been waiting for love for too long and it just needed very little. You guys saw it was very little. It was some cleanup and a uh, new adhesive, a new lamp kit. It's nothing. So that's it. We've rescued another one. Thanks for watching, you guys. Happy junkin'. Bye. Visit my blog, peonylanedesigns.com, for more tips, tricks, and inspiration. Thanks for watching, everyone. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and click the bell icon so you'll be notified of new videos. I post every week DIY tutorials and, of course, more junkin' videos.